Hi everyone! In today's video I would like to explain what are the different steps which you're going to need to take in order to become a real UX UI designer. For the sake of this video, I'm going to assume that you are on level 1, okay? We are going to start from here and we're going to go all the way up to level 1, 2, 3, 4 and eventually 5, okay? These are going to be the five levels, four and eventually five. Five will be where you are already a designer, you have works, you have job, and level one would be where you unfortunately don't know nothing. If you are on the different stages, that's okay as well. You can just skip the different parts. Um, and without any further ado, let's just begin. So what's going to happen on level one? You're going to have the desire that you would like to become a UX UI designer. You see it on Instagram, you see it on YouTube, you hear from your, one of your friends that he's working or he heard about this profession and you really enjoy it, you really like it. Therefore, you would like to get into the UX UI space. So first, you're going to do some research about it. And when you figured out that this is something which you actually would like to do, then you're going to 100% in. This would be the zero step, like basically below zero one, which I'm saying right now, that before you would figure out that you're wanting to commit for this journey, I would recommend searching about it, reading about it, watching interviews with people on YouTube, maybe even get in touch with people on LinkedIn maybe, or from any of your friend groups, um, if, no, if anyone knows anyone who is working already as a UX UI designer, and just basically get to know more information and decide if it's something which you would like to do. And then you can move on to level one. Okay. Now we are at the stage that you made your research. You decided that you enjoyed this profession. This is something which you would like to seriously get into. And you committed that you're going to learn this profession. And here's the first part. Level one, which is learning. Learning, okay? Uh, first stage is going to be all about ac accumulating as much knowledge as you can. At this stage, you won't get really, really practical. You need to understand the basic principles of UX UI design, why we are doing what we are doing, what is the value of this profession, why UX UI designers actually exist and how it was in the past before we didn't exist. For this stage, the learning stage, you're going to need to read fundamental books. So there will be one, read books. Okay, you're also going to watch YouTube To, to, to just basically get an overall feeling about what is this whole thing. Books to understand, YouTube get a feel. And one of the most important ones, you're going to take a basic free UX UI course. And this is the one of the most important one, other than reading the important books and getting your knowledge. But in the description, I already linked you some free UX UI design courses, which I believe in and which I already learned some stuff from as well. And I believe those are the courses which contain all the information which you're going to need at this level. You're going to need to familiar with the design thinking process, how we are thinking with the users, how we emphasize with them, how to do research, how to actually do the technical part of designing, how do you do the testing, how do you hand it for developers. This is not an exhaustive list. There is like a lot of in-between steps in this whole list, but this is the stage where you need to get familiar with the design lingo. You need to understand the design process. 
and just get a general idea about what is this whole profession is about. And by finishing a few courses, you already should have a little bit of experience and much more understanding about why we are doing what we are doing. I believe this stage would take around one to three months. Depending on how much time and how much effort are you willing to put into it, you can do these things faster at the same time, like you can, I don't know, maybe during afternoon you can do the course, in the evening you can read the books, during the day you can watch YouTube videos. The point is to immerse yourself in this part, immerse yourself into UX UI design, and get familiar with everything. So based on your energy and time, this is probably going to take you to one to three months. Then you're going to move up, right? This is what we want. Level two. This is going to get be the part, well, the shit gonna get real, right? So in this stage, you know, we were just having fun. We were just researching, we were just reading, we were just watching the cool videos, we were just watching the influencers doing the UX UI design stuff. Now, this is the part where you have to start practicing. So this is the part where you're going to get your hands dirty, okay? First of all, you're going to need to create your own project. It's going to happen by probably at this stage when you were doing a course, during the course, you were already doing some project work. But in this stage, you need to create actual project work, which doesn't mean working with a client just yet. Um, but you need to go to Google, okay? I'm gonna write it here. Go go and search okay you're going to need to search for design challenges which you can work on which you can solve and where you can apply from the previous step the knowledge which you gathered okay so this is going to be the part where you can actually start designing obviously at this stage if you had the chance you were also designing but in this part you're going to take it seriously okay and I need to emphasize it this, at this stage that in order for stage three, four and five to be able to work, you need to do this really, really well. Because here, that's one thing that you're going to do the work. That's one thing. But the second thing is that you're going to need to document. I would suggest when you are doing your work and every milestone or checkpoint, for example, when you finish a certain amount of research, when you figured out the branding, when you start doing the wireframes, when you are finished with the user, with the hi-fi version, when you were testing it, all of these, all of these stages, you need to document it in some shape or form, okay? And why is it going to be really important? I wanna highlight this fact, pressure it for you, okay? You need to document it because in the next stage, you're going to create your portfolio and without the knowledge, you probably won't remember what you were doing exactly. So you need the documentation and here you can apply uh, the documentation and sort of put it in a way which is easy to sell. I'm going to talk about it really, really soon how to sell your work, okay? So here you are working, you're documenting and also you're going to gather Gathering feedback is really, really important as a designer because as far as I know, the fastest, easiest, most straightforward way of becoming a better designer day by day, week by week, is to have feedback from people who are better than you. It doesn't matter if they only better only by one year more of experience or five or 10 or 20. The point is, Somebody needs to give feedback on your work, which you are doing here, or actually here, doesn't matter. Somebody needs to give feedback on your work <clears throat> because based on feedback, you can get better. You do something for yourself and you think something about this design, but without a professional feedback or somebody who actually done it before you multiple times, it's going to be really hard for you to see your blind spots. It's going to be really hard for you to identify where you could be better, basically the improvement points, okay? 
really, really important. How are you going to gather feedback? Well, online you can find a lot of mentors and mentee groups, also in Facebook. And we also have a school free group where we are teaching it and giving feedback on each other's portfolio, just having fun in general. You can also join us if you wanted to. I'm also going to link some groups which you can join. And the point is that keep sharing your work, okay, with other designers. At this point, you don't need to go to Dribble, LinkedIn, whatever. At this stage, you're only, the, only going to share your design work with designers, get feedback, get better, iterate, get better again, and just sort of try to make your work as best as possible, okay? And just get a better designer in general. I also want to say in this part that if you already have people around you, for example, from your friends or family or network who you were talking to and they, let's say, need a new website, or maybe you are in touch with a non-profit organization, by any chance, you are free to, free to work with, to gather them. And you can just utilize what you were learning here. You can utilize what you were learning before. Because at this point, you just need to gather experience and get better. That's it. If you can make actual work for real life clients, that's much better than free work. Or so, sorry, it's much better than fake work. But at this stage, it's not mandatory, okay? You just need to practice. Now we are moving to the next stage, level three. So what we have so far? We were learning, acquiring knowledge, practicing a little bit. Then in the second stage, we were practicing a lot. We were making whole projects. And actually, let me just write here. It takes about, I would also three, say at least, depends again how much time you put into it. If you're not doing it full time, I would say, mm, let's say two to three months, okay? Because at least you're going to need about like three projects, three good projects. This is the goal, okay? I'm going to write a bit green. That's the goal here, free project. And in the next stage, right here, what we're going to do with this free project, we're going to create our, let's say, online presence, okay? Why am I saying online presence instead of just a portfolio? The reason is being because at this stage, we're going to sort of create who you are as a designer, your whole online persona. At this stage, you have to understand that in the next one, in level four, you're going to start to apply to different jobs and you're also going to reach out for clients who are going to need to judge you based on something and that something is going to be stage three, your online presence. What does that mean exactly? First of all, you guessed it really well. It's going to be your portfolio. Not just your portfolio, but your social social media profiles. Shorty out. Sorry. Socials. And also your design. So what do we have here? One, we have our portfolio where you need to showcase at least, I believe, three of your work. So three of your works. Your portfolio doesn't necessarily have to be a whole website. It also could be just your dribble pages. It also could be an ocean page. It also can be a Figma page, Figma prototype to be more precise. But you need to showcase your work in any way, okay? In some ways. Secondly, socials, mainly what I think about it is going to be LinkedIn. LinkedIn is really, really important because all of most of the clients and most of the companies who are hiring for UX, UI designers, they are being on LinkedIn. There are other sources as well where you can find clients and companies, but LinkedIn is the number one go-to platform to find companies and clients. And designer socials, this is going to be for sharing your work, basically. What I mean by that is, let me write it here. Dribble. You not necessarily have to use both Dribble and Behance. Uh, it, it's up to you. You can also use Instagram 
at this stage. The point is that you have to get your work out there because you have to understand that people, as I mentioned, they're going to judge you based on your online presence. They're going to check your LinkedIn profile. They're going to check your portfolio. They're going to check your other work. And then they're going to decide if you are someone who is worthy for them to just have a call, you know? So at this stage, they don't even decide if they're going to hire you or not, of course. They're just going to decide if you are worthy of their time. And I want to hammer this part really, really deeply. You have to have good enough work, worthy of like taking the time. And you have to have a good enough social presence for HR managers, for business owners to actually be worthy of taking the time for your work and like check it out. And the really, really important part is that they're going to base everything about you, your value, your work, your personality based on these factors. So unfortunately, we live in a day where basically online presence and self-branding is really important. But on the other hand, you have to understand that there is no other way how they can judge you. So that's why it is really important to get this in order, because even though we have 100% of your personality, which is, I know that it's really awesome. But based on these metrics, they're only going to see like, I don't know, 10%, 9%, whatever you leave them to see about yourself. That's why it's really important to get this part right. This is going to be done by perfecting your portfolio. This is going to be done by optimizing your LinkedIn account. And this is going to be done by uploading consistently designer work of yours to Dribble, Behance, and Instagram. From here, we get to the next stage. This is the part where you're actually going to start applying. Okay, I'm just gonna call this stage. Apply. So hopefully by this stage, you know the basics, you practice them, you practice them enough so you can get to this stage where you can sort of figure out how to showcase yourself and your work. And now on level four, you're going to start showing and like actually putting yourself out there. What's how it's going to look like? Apply work, apply to work. Network, networking and reaching out, okay? These are the basically concluded methods of like how you're going to sort of translate your value and knowledge into money, okay? This is the part where we are thinking about how you're going to make that money, okay? Sorry, I missed from the previous part how long it's going to take. Let's just say, I think this part can be done quite easily. I would say three weeks to a, you shouldn't take more than like a month. Okay. So if the, in the previous page you documented everything well, it's going to be really easy to put it in a way of in your portfolio, how it's going to be attractive for people who are going to look at it. Setting up your socials, LinkedIn, it shouldn't take more than, actually, I believe a week, but overall this stage you can hang out for like three weeks, not more than a month, definitely. And the next one is going to applying for different jobs. So you can apply online, mainly on LinkedIn. There are also a lot of different other platforms where you can apply for jobs, but LinkedIn, as I mentioned, is the biggest one. You can go to networking events in your area, possibly, which I think is kind of an underrated way of getting jobs. You might going to also meet with business owners, um, high level decision makers who might need a new website, might need a new product. And you can just let them know that, hey, by the way, this is what I'm doing. This is what I've been working. And maybe if you need any, anything with website related stuff, or you know anyone who would need a new website for their businesses, um, you can just reach out to me. Or, which is also possible, that you're also going to tell your friends and family that you are doing this job. Actually, 
you know, telling it to your friends and family was also already a possibility, which I was talking about here. Uh, but here you're going to take it seriously. You're going to say that here I am. This is what I'm doing. Um, I've been practicing it for around like four months at this point, uh, and I'm ready to sort of get get going. Okay. Networking events don't underrate them and don't be like, oh my god, I need to connect with people and like network. It's so weird. I'm going to tell you that this is one of the most underrated and one of the easiest way of getting clients as a, as a newbie. Because here you can also leverage your personality. And if you have a good enough personality, you just need to be humble and just a good communicator on like a general level. Uh, people are going to choose you, not because you are the best, but because you are there and they need someone. And reaching out, I mainly think about clients, but this can be done in many different ways i want to highlight that in our school group which we are having for free and this time only for free i'm going to have different lectures about these points also about these points and these ones as well so if you would like to learn more and dive deep into them i encourage you to join our group where we hang out have fun and sort of help each other to grow as designers so here in this stage you're going to reach out for different businesses in different ways and hopefully, if you want to, you can start becoming a freelancer. But I would first recommend to like start to find like a junior position, okay? At a high firm, for example, or a startup company or whoever is like fits for you. And from this stage on, we're going to get to level five, which is the goal, getting hired. How long this stage can take? I would say it shouldn't take more than two to four months. So at this stage, you have to be prepared that you're going to get a lot of rejections. And it's not because you are not good enough, but most of the times, a lot of HR managers, they only decide on really shallow points if they want to work with you or not. They want to invite you to a meeting or not. So try to not take anything personally here, okay? Going to be a lot of rejection, but you need to be prepared mentally and you have to believe in yourself. I want to highlight again that these four stages until you get here is going to be an iterative process, okay? So it's something which is goes around and around. For example, you start applying for jobs. You applied for like 200 jobs and all of them were sending you away. They were saying that they're looking for someone more experienced. Uh, you are not senior enough, etc., etc. You're going to get the rejection, which I'm saying again, be prepared for that because you're going to get a lot. Then you might rethink your previous work. Is it good enough? You have to check other designers work. Am I on their level? Am I on like a serious junior level? You have to ask for feedback and decide how you can improve. And by yourself, I'm saying again, it's really, really hard to improve. Therefore, you're going to need a community. And again, you have to check your socials. Maybe your LinkedIn is missing something. Maybe your profile picture is not good enough. Maybe your headline is not optimized enough. Maybe your portfolio is too weak. Maybe your work is just not aligned with the companies who you are applying for. Therefore, maybe you need to showcase different work. You have to also iterate, okay? And then you can start applying again. And by I'm saying that two to four months, this can be a really, really annoying part. And this is a point where a lot of people gives up. Actually, there were a lot of people already who give up here, here, and here. So you are really, really awesome if you made it here. And this is the point where you should not give up. And I'm telling you it's possible because I managed to do it. I've seen other people making it. There is a lot of YouTuber people talking about their journey on YouTube, how they made it from zero, basically. So all of this can be done much faster than I outlined here with the blue ones. I'm just saying to be prepared that it's not going to be a smooth ride, okay? 
this journey is not uh, a really mapped out way of like <clears throat> going to school, going to high school, going to university, then landing a job, okay? This is going to be a little bit trickier, but here you have a good map for that, and here you have the goal. And I'm saying this to you, that if you manage to get here, if you actually thinking it seriously and iterating you know, and getting feedback and getting better and better day by day, keep putting on stuff on social media, you would, you, we can never know where the opportunity is going to come from, but the only way of losing is by quitting. I'm going to say it again. The only way how you're going to get failed in this process is by giving up, which means that until you don't give up, you will get win. You will win. So that is the process, then these are the steps and I think important parts of um, becoming a UX UI designer in 2024. If you have any questions, the comment section is free. Ask me anything. Also check the description. I was linking important stuff there, which you can utilize already. You can also join our school group, which I highly recommend to do. And I just want to encourage you to take this path, okay? Because UX UI design is really awesome. It gave me a lot of opportunities in my life. I've been traveling. I've had a lot of really awesome connect, really awesome people who I managed to connect with. Um, I managed to land really, really cool jobs. I learned English. I can learn, I can speak only English because I was attending schools in English and because I wanted to learn UX UI. My, my English improved a lot. And just in general, this is a really unique profession still to this day. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you got some value out of it and see you soon.